Hello, this is Jeff Weil from G4 Geomatic Resources in Houston. Uh, here's my telephone number and my email address. If you have any questions or need any help with your equipment needs, feel free to reach out to us. Today, we're going to go over the CS20, how, an overview of the jobs on the CS20, how to back them up, and uh, how to back up your settings. Let's see the first two videos. And um, it's important um, with your jobs to, to maybe delete them on a periodic basis. That way, you'll make your CS20 run a lot faster and won't bog it down. So I've had a few clients come in. They've had like 500 jobs. Questions asked, how many jobs should I keep on my CS20? I, I, I just keep it like 50 or below. Uh, we'll go over also um, the features of the jobs, how to set them up, how to delete them. Um, we'll go over the design jobs and how to link a job. We'll talk about SD card versus internal memory. And we'll take a look at the structure of the SD card and where all the data is stored. And we'll quickly go over how to export some jobs to view the photographs and export some simple ASCII and DXF files. And then we'll, we'll go over how to back up the settings to the SD card. The second video will go over how to format a CS20. So that's good to do at the, uh, before you load firmware. It's also good to do once or twice a year just to clean it up so it run a lot smoother. So these two videos will help your uh, CS20 run a little bit more efficiently, okay? Um, if we take a look, this is just a screenshot from the technical reference manual, and we'll go over this on SD card later. So if you want to pause this and take a look, this will go over where every file should be stored on your SD card or the internal memory. And we'll go through this a little bit later on the SD card. And the second page, once again, your DBX, your system, that's where you put all your uh, firmware versions and all that good stuff. So we'll, we'll go through this in more detail, but if you wanted to pause this later, this is just a good resource. What we'll take a quick look at is um, the uh, CS20. If you open up the compartment down here, there's a USB slot and SD slot. So we can store data to an SD card. I prefer to store my jobs to the internal memory and I'll back it up to the SD card or the USB. If you ever use an SD card, it's important to format it regularly. I'd say once a week after you back up your data, um, only use a Leica card or a SanDisk Ultra. We've seen some cheaper SD cards cause problems, lose data. And a lot of guys, if they use an SD card, it's really important to, to format on a regular basis, at least you know once, once a month, okay? Uh, later on, we'll go into Windows. And once again, the function Windows icon here is a quick way to go, go into Windows, okay? I'm going to pull the simulator up, and we'll just pull that down, and we'll take a quick look at the simulator. So once again, here is the function Windows button. Now on here, we have a series of jobs on the carousel, okay? And right now, we're running version 6.5. So um, older firmware versions, you might not have this jobs button down here. So if you don't see the jobs buttons or some of the features on here, I strongly recommend to upgrade your firmware. So right now we have a job here called January 21st. We have another job over here and uh, called LW. And see this little icon here, that means it's stored on the SD card. And I can quickly change a job by clicking on it. And this job's an internal memory. On this new uh, firmware, I can hit function lock. And that will lock that job. So sometimes it's too easy to change a job when you're in the field. You might click on it by mistake. That function lock is very handy. I'll hit function unlock to unlock it. Some of the older firmware versions, you could hit function new job to create a new job here. Um, now there's a little F6 button and your jobs are here and it shows all the jobs on here. And once again, we have a couple jobs. See, there's a line through them, they're hidden. That's just a toggle. I can untoggle these. These jobs will now appear on the carousel, but you can uncheck them if you wanted to have less jobs so it's easier just to see the jobs you're working on, okay? Uh, if you wanna create a new job, I can just click on F2 new. If I want to delete a job, just I can delete it right here if I want to delete them one by one. Uh, later on, we'll just show you how to delete a whole bunch of them at one time. So if I hit a new job here, we can create the, the name of the job and pick where we want to store it, on the SD card or on an internal memory. Uh, it'll default to the coordinate system of, of the last job, okay? So right now I got Texas Central, or I can pick Texas South Central. In this case, we'll pick Texas South Central and the code list. I've got one code list. We so have several code lists and you pick that code list. Uh, if you ever upload a code list, 
you cannot go to an old job and attach it. So it only attach once you've uploaded it to a new job. What's neat is once you create a new job, it'll keep these settings moving forward. Link jobs means I can link whatever jobs are on the carousel. So if I wanted to see these jobs in my measure screen and stake out from them, if I hit linked, I can have several jobs linked to my current job for stakeout. So we'll hit okay. So we'll have to hit a name, call it January 22nd. and store. And now we just created that job, hit OK, and now it's on the carousel stored in the SD card. Okay. All right, if I hit uh, function home, this will take me over to choose design job. And this is where I can pick what job I want to stake out from. So I can change it and I can pick whatever job is on the data collector. So I want to pick that job. I always hit function settings when I first set it up, make sure this box is checked. And what this does is when you go to stakeout, hit your stake points, it'll then prompt you what jobs are linked to that and what you're staking out from. So we'll hit OK. And then in, when I go to stakeout, I can, I can then pick those points to stake out from that job. Okay, so the link jobs and the design jobs, you can pick mobile jobs to stake out from. Now what I can do, if I hit the measure button, this can confuse people. Uh, if I hit the measure button, and measure screen, we're going to collect data. If I hit uh, zoom extents, it'll then show all these points. And see how they're grayed out? These are the points from the linked jobs. So I can see them. And this is kind of handy because if I shot these in with GPS and I now go to a total station, I can then fill in the gaps. But if once again, these are from the design job. So I start on a job from scratch. I just leave my design job, set to this job, and then the screen would be blank. Okay. So that's a quick overview of how to create a job, how to delete on the carousel, how to lock it, and, and how to do a design job. Okay, um, as we talked about, uh, we can store to the SD card. I prefer to store to the internal memory. Um, I'll back up to the SD card. And uh, as we talked about, if you're gonna use an SD card, just use a Leica card or a Sandus Ultra card and format on a regular basis. To format it, I just go to settings. Oops. Let me back up, tools, format, and I come down and I can pick format SD card. You lose all your data, so make sure it's backed up, but I'd say at least once a month, uh, format your SD card to keep it clean. Okay, so real fast, let's talk about how to export some data. So I got the star key here. And I've got a hotkey, say export ASCII. So I can come in here and just say export ASCII to the SD card. There's my text file, okay, and it exports it. I can also do it from clicking on the job, export the hotkey is a little bit faster and hit export ASCII here. The format file is an old, is an old format file to use format files, but the ASCII is right here and DXF is here. So if we hit function settings, then we can uh, come to specific and label creations, and you can pick whatever you want to label and whatever layer. So I might export my point ID and my codes, and then pick the layer and the color, hit OK. And then once again, we can export that to the SD card, go into the data subdirectory. So all your ASCII and DXF files when exported will, be, will go there. Now, it's also really important to export your job data. So when you're finished, uh, we can click here transfer jobs. And that allows us to transfer it to the USB or the uh, SD card and um, it'll transfer any of the link jobs and back it up. And that's how you wanna, what's neat is if you took any photographs, this is the quickest way to export, it'll store your job under the under the DBX subdirectory. And then we'll later on go in and take a look to retrieve the, uh, the photographs. Okay, so um, let's take a quick look that um, if we go into Windows and how we uh, then delete the jobs in Windows. So let me shut the simulator down. Okay, when we're in Windows, um, on top here's my device. And if I go to Leica Geosystems and then Leica Captivate, you'll see a bunch of subjects on the internal memory. 
DBX is where all the jobs are stored. Data is where all the uh, export, like DXF and text files are. So if I go to DBX, I just have a few jobs here. If I wanted to copy these, I could say edit, select all, then edit, copy. And now I just have one job. I'll exit back and then go to the SD card or USB. And then I can go down to DBX and then hold it down and hit paste. And that will then copy that job um, and back it up to the SD card. Now, if I want to do the same for my uh, text files, I can back back up using the little blue arrow, go to Leica Geosystems, Captivate, Data, and you'll see some files here, this uh, DXF and text files. So it's just a couple here, but most guys have a bunch of them. I can highlight those files I want to transfer, then right click, whoops, go to data, highlight them, edit, copy, and once again use the blue arrow, arrow over, just like we did before, then go to the SD card, and then back up and do data, these files here, okay? So that's a quick way uh, to go through and back up the files. If I wanted to delete them, once again, I can go back in to the internal memory, DBX. I only have one job here, but let's imagine we had a bunch. I can highlight those jobs, the term blue, hold it down, hit delete. We'll delete all those jobs to free up the space. The same way underneath my data subdirectory. If I want to delete all these ASCII files, just highlight them, hold it down, hit delete, and hit yes. So that's a quick way just to copy your jobs fast and back them up. Okay, what is one quick note to make is if you have a bunch of jobs in your internal memory, it'll prompt you to free up the recycle bin. We'll do it automatically, but that might pop up uh, after like every 10, 20 jobs are being formatted. Okay, let's uh, fire up the uh, simulator one more time and we'll take a quick look on how to transfer the settings. And then we'll take a look at the uh, data that's backed up on the, uh, on the uh, SD card, okay? So once again, we'll come down here. If I was gonna back up all my, let's say everything was set up perfectly uh, the way I wanted, I'd hit settings, tools, transfer objects, then I could transfer all objects from internal memory to the SD card. If I had a bunch of jobs, I could then check that and then hit OK. All right. And then it'll ask you want to overwrite, overwrite all the stuff that's already on there. OK. And that's a quick way to back up all your settings. And you can back up your jobs as well. If you have a whole bunch of jobs, that might take a while. That's why we went over how to go to Windows to copy a whole bunch of jobs. If you have less than 50 jobs, then you can do it that way. If you've got a whole bunch of jobs in internal memory, uh, please use the Windows subdirectory. Now, what we'll do is I'll click on Windows. Um, we have a, a subdirectory here, uh, just of the SD cards. So you can see here, here's the SD card, and here's the subdirectories right here. So code, that would be where my code lists are. So I open this up, this shows all the code lists. I've got several code lists here. And, and then I could transfer, using the tool settings transfer, these code lists that, that are creating. You can see that each one has uh, three proprietary files. That's normal, okay? So we'll back back up, uh, config. This, this is where, if I had um, work styles, it's hard to see what these work styles are named, but these, if I back up my work styles, this is where they're stored. I don't use RTK profiles anymore, but if you did, they'd be backed up here. So we'll back up, go to convert. Convert is where your format files, the so format files were created in the old LGO. They're like a custom ASCII export. Um, so you have ones that are created. We can put them in here, transfer them up, and here's the style sheet. And they go into the convert subdirectory. We'll back up one more. Data, we exported any DXFs to the SD card or or ASCII files, they're, they're all stored under the data subdirectory. Under GPS, geoid, that's where the geoid models are put if you want to transfer them up to the uh, 
C as 20. So in this case, we transfer G as 18, or yeah, the, the G or 18, sorry, and the, the 12B. CSCS stands for Country Specific Coordinate System. And for NAD 27, we can put the uh, NAGCON file there, okay? And that's attached to convert to NAD 27. So that's what, what the data subject has. It's kind of confusing because DBX, that's where all our jobs are. Okay, so these are the jobs we transferred. This TRF.data is our coordinate system. So I have the whole of the Texas State Plane coordinate system here. This is a quick way to go find your uh, photographs. So if I open this job up, these are the proprietary files that are imported into LGO or into Infinity. There's a subject called images. And you'll see here, all the pictures that were taken in the field is really neat. They link it to the jobs as image one. And that one is the point number, the three, that's point number three, point number one, time and date stamp. So it's shot on June 11th, and there's, there's the time. So I double click here, that shows what picture was taken in the field, and I can quickly access that. Okay, so that's real handy. And point number five, and you shot in control point number five. So I just wanna show you how you can quickly uh, retrieve your photographs by transferring the job to the DBX. Uh, under GPS, we'll ignore that. Really under system, uh, right now I've got a file here. This is a firmware. That's where the firmware files go. And any license key for uploading license keys to a CS20 or a TS16 in this case to load firmware, the system is where the firmware goes and any license keys. If you're loading firmware, just do one at a time. If you have multiple firmware versions, there'll be an error message. So that's a quick overview of the data structure of the SD card. You know, what files go where can be a little bit confusing because data is just for the ASCII files, DBX the raw job files. So some guys get that confused. So DBX stands for database exchange. So that's a quick video on just how to delete your jobs, uh, where all the data files are stored. And uh, we'll do another one on formatting the CS20 to make it run faster. So it's really important just you know, I'd say get in the habit at least once a month of deleting your jobs, freeing them up after you back them up. Uh, some guys will do it once a week. So I hope you found that beneficial and uh, have a great day.